Or I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. This is James Mathers at NAB 2019 for the Digital Cinema Society and Studio Daily. I'm here at the KinoFlow booth and uh, the founder of KinoFlow, uh, Frieder Hoheim, is going to tell us about their new products. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, welcome to uh, NAB. Uh, this year we are sh showing now the uh, Kino tubes, the LED tubes. It's, sh it's now shipping. Um, full color science as we have on all of our panels. On the color science part, some really interesting developments. We are now offering camera lookup tables, meaning you can now harmonize all of our lights to a specific camera. So we've got the Arri Alexa, we have the Sony Venice, the Panavision DXL, and the uh, Panasonic uh, Vericam. And so what we're doing here is we're actually embedding the color science, just like Kodak embedded the color science into their film emulsion, we're saying we're embedding the color science of the camera in the instrument so that now when you turn it on you can do it with confidence knowing that you're going to have a neutral Kelvin white point to start. And then there are plenty of other controls that you can mess it up any way you want, but at least we'll give you that starting point. So I think that's a single tube. So including the tubes, um, the entire product line. So uh, as of this Friday, we're going to be releasing that beta software. You'll have it online. You'll be able to download it. Uh, we're still calling it beta because we're, we may still want to tweak it a little bit, but uh, we've been uh, testing this now. We've, uh, we've done a couple of shows with them uh, with great success. And uh, so we're looking forward to uh, being able to offer this to uh, the rest of our clientele. What's the interface? How do you control the, the uh, color? Yeah. So uh, very simple. We, in all the ballasts have our control systems. Uh, going into the general menu, scroll down to where it says camera LUT, camera lookup. From there, you, go, you enter the menu and select it press the button and now the entire unit is harmonized. And there will be a little indicator that will tell you that it's in a camera mode. So there's a little C, 4, 3, 2, what, whichever camera you've selected will be indicated on the view display. So at any time, you'll, no matter what mode you're in, you'll know that you're in a camera mode and you can move on with confidence. It's also a great troubleshooting that if you have an instrument that's not set to a camera, you'll be able to see right away that it's not dialed in. So it allow you to do that. This must have taken a heck of a lot of research. How long have you been at this? Well, this has been in development for the last six, seven years. Um, you know, we, we'd always, always hope to have the camera companies work with us on this. Uh, they, they're hesitant to do that. Uh, you know, I do have to say hats off to uh, Panavision. Uh, they were very cooperative in working with us. And uh, in fact, we did a show in London uh, this, uh, this winter. Uh, John Schwartz from the ASC uh, was an Emma Thompson project. The entire film was shot, uh, all the kinos on it were harmonized to the DXL, and uh, the results were spectacular. So we know it works. Now it's a matter of uh, trying to get more camera companies uh, on board. We'll see. You know, more of this gets out there, the more they'll see the advantage. Now I know you did a deep dive in this at our last uh, DCS lighting event, and people can find that online on your website and on ours. Yes, uh, you, you were kind enough to uh, allow us to share that, uh, that link. Uh, that was a 15-minute sort of condensed version of what I do, uh, where I normally take an hour to describe it. But what it does in a nutshell, it, it sort of explains the color science, where it started, why we're doing this, and uh, why we've chosen to go with the lookup table. We're also adding um, a, a gamut selection, in other words, a color space selection, so you can choose which uh, workspace you want to be in. Uh, this is more looking into the future with other manufacturers that are doing it. I know some manufacturers are now getting into this mode. What it allows us to do is to map common color points with, with map our color points within a common space. So this is very important, uh, especially for a, a desk operator uh, mixing different light sources. If they can all be, uh, if all the the data, all the mapping could be understood within a common gamut that will make matching different instruments easier. It doesn't mean 100% match because there's still spectral differences between manufacturers, but at least it'll bring it closer together. And what's this, a big soft light behind us? What we have here behind me, my key light, is the Celeb 850 with a four by six snap bag. We've got a number of different diffusion materials for it, but this is a spectacular soft light. Uh, and again, once you add all this other color science to it, it's endless, uh, the, the color options. So from the very big, we can go to the very small. We're also uh, uh, showcasing a new mini panel, uh, the Freestyle, uh, from the Freestyle family. Uh, we'll be announcing its uh, release uh, for the Cinegear show, but we're giving it a sneak preview here, and we've had 
prototypes out on a number of shows, and we can never get them back. Once they're on a show, they're they're locked in. It's like we won't, we're not we're not sending them back. So we've had to build some more. But again, we're just trying out to see exactly where we want to be with that product. Are you still making the fluorescent tubes? We continue to make fluorescents as long as there are customers that will have them. I've got inventory like you wouldn't believe. But you know, speaking of which, I mean, the the bigger challenge will be. Um, not the demand, because there's still a demand for it, but it's whether we can uh, continue to still make tubes. And uh, we've seen uh, many of our factories uh, just stop, do, stop, stop business. So yeah, it is an evolution of, of technology, but there's still nothing quite like the full spectrum of our KF55 or the uh, 32s. They were spectacular light. They were spectacular then, they're spectacular now, and now we're trying to be equally as spectacular. We're actually surpassing it now with the LEDs because of all the things you can do by structuring spectrum, especially with a camera in mind. Well, thanks for leading the charge. We appreciate all the research that you guys do. It's, it's been a lot of fun. It's been frustrating at times, but it's, it's really, it's exciting. It's why I get up in the morning. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming by.